What's up guys? Today is an exciting day because I just got some packages in the mail that I'm really excited about. But before I do that, I want to make sure you guys stay tuned until the end of the video where we give you guys a little sneak peek as to where we're getting ready to take this on our next adventure. So I just got this new Sublu Sibo underwater scooter that I just ordered off Amazon. I haven't tried it yet, so I wanted to take you guys through my initial experience as far as opening it, having fun with it, overall specs, maintenance. I'm also gonna provide you guys with a link in the comments as to where you can buy this scooter on Amazon, as well as some accessories we like using with the scooter that make it even more enjoyable. So without further ado, let's get to it. I ordered a backup battery with the scooter. As you can see, it comes in this nice case. Hopefully it's not too hard to pull out. Nice box there. Looks like the box includes obviously the scooter, the standard charger, the lithium battery, some counterweights, D-ring transfer, lanyard clip, safety leash and obviously some instructions and on the front you've got some, some more specs it goes to 40 meters about 130 feet you've got your oled screen which is that you can operate it with one single hand it says your battery life is 75 minutes so we'll see if that's actually the, the case or not i'd imagine that might be on your lowest setting but i could be wrong honestly the reason i got this one is because one it's airplane friendly you can take these lithium batteries on airplanes it's lightweight it's fairly compact so it's also easy to travel with i know they make you take the batteries with you as carry on price point on this on amazon is about a thousand bucks so i did pay up for hopefully some of the reasons i did decide to do that were simply because of the performance and the ability to travel with it. I'm assuming you just unlock it right here, like so. And this is all the stuff that comes with it. You've got your counterweights here. You've got your standard charger here, which is cool. Right here is one of the other battery that comes with the actual scooter, which is nice. We'll go ahead and take that off. That's the actual holder that the battery sits in when it's charging. There's some clips, D-ring clips, safety clips. Looks like your standard owner's manual you got there. Here is the actual scooter. Pretty good size. They say it weighs about six, seven pounds, which seems probably pretty accurate. As you can see, it's got the dual rotors. They got it safety wrapped where the battery goes, as well as the LED display. It says to take out the battery and carry it with you when boarding. But all in all, a very good looking scooter. We're gonna take a look at it now and see how it performs. Okay guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering about the battery life and I was actually pleasantly surprised about that. It holds up pretty true to form. I'd say you probably get about 60 minutes of runtime with these batteries. I ordered an extra one just in case, but you can really get by with just one depending on how often you want to use the thing. 
just ordered one as a precautionary measure, but this holds up really well. After you get to a certain level on the battery, I believe it's a 50% level, you lose your highest speed, which is the turbo speed that goes about four miles an hour. So you're still left with the free mode and the sport mode, which the freeze the, the lowest setting at about two miles an hour and the sport's about three. Both of them are, are really good. They get you around just fine. And there's a couple really cool features about this actual scooter that I like. One, you can put a GoPro adapter on the top. It's got a screw right here, which is really cool. And essentially, have your GoPro right there. So I actually ordered this adapter piece off of Amazon and I'll provide the link for that, but that fits right here. And so you could essentially have your GoPro right there at the top, which I prefer, or you can utilize the GoPro mount that comes right here. Now I ordered these separately. These are just extender arms. I will provide the link in the comments for these as well. But essentially, if you want to have the GoPro there, you can have it there. So it comes with some weights. There's three weights it comes with to help actually keep the scooter riding like this as opposed to it has a tendency to kind of want to pitch up a little bit, which makes you want to scoot it to the surface, which is actually a nice safety feature. But it comes with some weights to keep it riding more like this. You can use those weights if you'd like, or you can actually attach a, uh, a weight belt, so to speak, to your waist. And I put a little carabiner. If you have a safety clip on your weight belt, that's just as good. But you just attach the strap that comes with the actual product. This comes with the actual product. It's another safety clip. But what I did was actually thread the screw through here, like so, and tighten it on the GoPro mount. So it just holds that in place. You can actually clip this on the ring and you have it so it's actually providing that downward ability to keep the scooter going on even plane. You can pitch it whatever way you want. If you get the tension of the actual weight belt tight, it makes it really easy to just kind of control it. Now, as far as turning it on, you've got this little side button here that basically does everything. You just want to hold it down for three seconds and this light will come on. You've essentially got three modes here. You've got free. If you want to flip it to sport, you would just go like that. And it goes to sport. Same thing for turbo. It's got battery level indicator. Uh, what mode it's in right now, it's in dual hand control mode, which is left and right. Tells you how long you've been using the scooter for. It's got Bluetooth connectivity that connects to the actual app. And obviously tells you what mode you're in. Okay, so this scooter has got an app, Sue Blue app, and all you have to do is go into the app and find your device. And once you find it, you just press use now. Cool things about it is it's got a self check, a self clean and a safety lock. One thing I really like is the, the hand control here. So essentially you've got two hand control. You can do it with the right hand or left hand. Right now it's set on two hand control, which I'll show you guys how that works here in a second. Or you can do, let's say we'll just do right hand. So if you want to do a dual hand control, you've got these two red buttons right here. And all you would do is just obviously hold them down. Now I've got it set on right hand control. So anytime you actually start the scooter, you've got to start it with both fingers and then you take, since it's in right hand mode, you take your left hand off. So you just go like this, and let go, and then you can control it with one hand if you want to, which makes it nice. Okay guys, last thing really is just maintenance. So maintenance is pretty easy, especially if you're using this thing in salt water. When you're done using the device, just take it to a sink, fill up the sink, and just run the propellers on free mode for about two or three minutes, and then let it just sit in there for about 20 minutes, just get the salt water off. I also like to use waterproof grease to put on the electrical connections on the battery, as well as the electrical connection on the actual scooter after the thing dried off. I would recommend using some sort of air compressor, hand dry it with a towel, I actually use my electric blower just to blow out the, the actual rotors. So you got to be very careful with the motors and the 
and the actual props inside of them to make sure they're nice and dry in order to keep this thing maintained and ready to use for a long time. So we really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you all so much for your support. We hope you got something out of this video. If you're interested in purchasing one of these scooters, they are awesome. My kids truly love them. It really makes you feel like you're a fish in the water. Last but not least, you guys, uh, we've got a surprise for you. Me and my girlfriend Ashley will be traveling to Antigua in about two weeks to obviously go on vacation, but we're, we're able to take this with us. So we're gonna go all around the island and see what we can find. Take the GoPro, hopefully we'll have some good videos afterwards to post, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Make sure you guys check out the links in the comments below of the best price we found on Amazon of where to purchase the scooter, as well as some of the accessories we recommend that make riding the scooter a lot more enjoyable. Until next time, cheers.